This is KCAL News at 10, also streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. Hi, everyone. Thanks for being with us. I'm Susie Sa. And a good evening, friends. I'm Chauncey Glover. A warning for you tonight. The video you're about to see might be difficult to watch. A crazy accident here in Newhall when this man goes flying out of a moving RV, landing on the opposite side of the 14 freeway. Well, incredibly, that man survived and was actually talking. Our Lori Perez is live tonight in Newhall, where she just spoke with a good Samaritan who ran over over to help Lori. Yeah, and he said, and I totally agree, this man is so, so lucky. You guys know this 14 freeway is always so busy, making it all the more remarkable the man survived. It was kind of shocking. But he was all the way, he kind of mentally was there. You have to watch the video a few times at least and slow it down to catch what happened. That's how quick it was. See that flash of smoke or dust up? That was the moment an RV hit the median along the northbound 14 near Newhall. The force throwing a passenger inside the RV through the driver's side window over the center divider and onto the side of the southbound freeway. Watch as the man rolls along inches from oncoming traffic. He was actually the passenger and she flew over her out the window. Alf Smithy was behind the RV when it drifted, hit the median and kept going for a few seconds before coming to a halt. He pulled over and says a woman was in the driver's seat calling for her husband. She fell asleep and when she hit the center divider, I didn't even see the guy leave out of the vehicle. She kept saying, where's my husband? Where's my husband? She kept looking out the window back. Smithy followed her eyes, recording as he ran back about 300 feet and around a bend where he says he found her husband bleeding and badly bruised all over his body, but amazingly conscious and asking about his wife. Is she all right? Yeah. She just freaked out. Smithy says the guy could easily have died from the impact or been hit by an oncoming car. He kind of knew everything that happened. He kept asking about his wife. It was pretty cool to see that he was kind of there. Now, kind of there, but seriously hurt. Smithy says the man appeared to have a broken arm, broken uh, both of his legs, and he had a massive head injury. But again, so very lucky to be alive. We are live in Newhall tonight. I'm Lori Perez, KCAL News, back to you.